Hi, my name is Jenny Opolinski, and I'm the Curator of History at the Panhandle Plains Historical Museum. My name is Renee Dantes, and I am an Archivist and Research Assistant at the Panhandle Plains Historical Museum in the Research Center. Today we're going to be showing you some special things from our collection in honor of National Vietnam War Veterans Day. To begin our video, we're starting with a few items that were donated by Alan Laughter Jr. The donor purchased these items as a souvenir while a soldier in the Vietnam War. Alan Laughter Jr., possibly in Pleiku, South Vietnam in 1969, also donated to the museum was a DVD containing footage of Pleiku, South Vietnam from 1969 to 1970. He also donated his helmet, which we have on display here, from the war. Interestingly, those DVDs and photographs from Laughter are up here in the Research Center, so that's why it makes sense the two of us are here. And we thought it was kind of interesting about what somebody brought back with them from the theater of war. So in this instance, you've got these really great souvenirs of, that are straight from the area and are talking about the local and the, the people there. Then you've got people that were like my father, who is a Vietnam veteran. He actually brought back manuals with him. So I have a manual that's from the time he was there about how to indicate and figure out where a mine might be. And that's very interesting and very, very dirty from having served its, its purpose well, apparently. Um, and then we also have things like scrapbooks. So some people brought back items and some people brought back memories. Uh, the man uh, that his name is Dennis Alexander, whose scrapbook we actually have up here. And uh, he became a police officer here in Amarillo once he returned. These memories came in visual form and they have photos of his bunkmates and of his uh, fellow soldiers in the Navy that he was where he was serving, so lots of ships, and some of the locals as well, but they were remembering things in two very different ways. So this crossbow is made from a tropical limb timber, possibly teak, and the bow is made from bamboo. Uh, the bow is 11 inches long. The arrows are made out of bamboo, pointed on one end with a kite on the other, for directionality. The quiver is also made out of a cord piece of bamboo, and these arrows have a range of about 50 feet. The bows were made by the Montagnard people for hunting. There were three sizes of bows made. The largest was used for tigers, the medium sized was for monkeys, and the smallest size was for birds, rats, and frogs. So in addition to some of the things that we have from uh, Dennis Alexander, we received a, like a flag that flew over their ship while they were in Vietnam. There was a, a, a tin can that was uh, painted with a Vietnamese flag on it that was, uh, he had disassembled an improvised explosive device, which is interesting since, you know, we do have a, a booklet on how to discover where the mines are. This guy was actually taking them apart and brought some of it home. And so, it's interesting to see the, the things that, um, that made it back with these individuals as they, as they returned. They held on to these things that, that reminded them of their time there, but um, it reminded them in very different ways. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing with us today some of these special items in our collection. We hope that you are able to in some way honor a veteran that you might know for Vietnam War Veterans Day. And uh, always remember that if you have the opportunity to come in and see us and take a look at some of our wonderful objects, we're always glad to have you in and we hope you have a great day.